Norfolk is, is incredibly important for the history of archaeology worldwide really, not just in, in Europe or, or, or in Britain. The oldest footprints outside of Africa are here in Norfolk and I don't think you can really underestimate that. Um, stone tools that we've found nearly a million years old. We've also got evidence of, of four different species of human in this county. No other county in Britain have got the evidence of those four humans. A million years ago, uh, this, this actually was part of the coast, but it was, um, it, it, it was also connected over to what is now sort of Belgium and the Netherlands. And of course this led the people back and forth in waves coming to Britain. And Norfolk was the place to come because we had the food, we had mammoth, we had geese and ducks, but most importantly we had the raw materials which we've still got, and that's flint. And if you can hit a flint, you get a sharp edge. If you've got a sharp edge, you can make tools. So in, in May 2013, some colleagues uh, of mine, some archaeologists, were working at Haysborough doing routine dating work um, and they noticed that the sand had been washed away from quite a low point uh, um, towards the, the, the tide line. Um, and this exposed the, the chroma forest bed, this layer where we've been finding all the archaeology. And they realised that there were some footprints there and the dating of those sediments, crucially, was nearly 950,000 years old. So these are the oldest footprints footprints outside of Africa and they're right here in, in Norfolk. This show we think two adults and three children walking along the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the coast at the time. And the brilliant story with that is that the adults are walking pretty much south and the smaller footprints are kind of all over the place and it's just like a family walking along Haysborough Beach today. Back in the early 90s, uh, a couple walking along the beach at West Runton, which isn't far from here, it's just up the coast, um, discovered uh, uh, some, some bones and the archaeologists and paleontologists came in and they excavated it over a couple of seasons. And the result of that is uh, the largest mammoth ever discovered in Britain, this West Runton mammoth, and it's about 85% complete, which for something that's nearly a million years old is, is pretty good. You can actually see some of the West Runton mammoth here, and this is just a very small part of it, but of course it's, it, it, it's huge. And this is his elbow, believe it or not. Um, so it's the, the front leg, this is where the, the, the bottom part of the leg would have, would have come off. So you can see from, from the size of just this small piece that this was a, a really big beast. Um, and in fact, from all the other elements that we've got of this, we know that it was about four, four and a half metres at the shoulder. Norfolk's coast path is a national trail and it's growing. Um, this, this part was, uh, was opened up um, back in December of last year. Uh, we're opening another section, taking it all the way down to the Suffolk border later on um, in next year. And then the, the, there's a, a fourth bit that's opening up um, between um, Hunstanton and Kings Lynn. And visitors right along the North Norfolk coast and, um, can find these amazing fossils. This is not just something that you come to museums to see. So as well as the beautiful coastline and the scenery, um, you're pretty much guaranteed to find a fossil. And if visitors want to find out more about the West Front and Mammoth, they can come to a number of our, our museums. Cromer Museum is, is a great place to go with our geology gallery there. Most of the mammoth that's on display is there. Um, but also Norwich Castle Museum, we have elements of it on, on display. The rest of it at the moment is in storage at Gressenhall and there are special tours that you can go on to, to see that but we are hoping to get the whole skeleton on display in the next four or five years so watch this space.